Ramadan 2024, 23rd March. Just now, I returned from uh, the Masjid, Pasar Bagh Masjid, Pune, and uh, I offered the Tarabi prayer. And uh, it was so beautiful. Again, I would uh, like to stress upon understanding the Quran. Okay, the Imam, uh, the Honorable Imam, recited my favorite surah today, uh, chapter number 19, Surah Maryam. He began with Kaaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Saad. Okay. Then the story of uh, Zakaria alayhi salam, you know, how he prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to gift him, uh, you know, a uh, son. Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears his dua, the beautiful dua is mentioned here. And Allah says, okay, we you know, announce you, uh, the, you know, the good news of Yahya alayhi salam, okay, known as John the Baptist in the Bible. Again, the Imam Sahab read further and uh, he recited the ayah mentioning Maryam alayhi salam okay? and mentioned in the book O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, uh, about Maryam when she withdrew in seclusion from her family to a place facing east. Now she goes there and she placed a screen. Okay? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling, we sent our ruh, that is angel Jibreel, and he appeared before her in the form of a man in all respects. So Maryam is uh, anxious, she is you know, scared and she says, Verily I seek refuge with the most gracious Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from you if you do fear Allah. The angel said, I am only a messenger from your Lord to announce to you the gift of a righteous son. So she replies, how can I have a son when I am not married? So the angel says, so it will be your Lord said that is easy for me. Okay? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling, we wish to appoint him, that is Jesus peace be upon him as a sign to mankind and a mercy from us. And it is a matter already decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, uh, Again, the story goes further in detail. Now, do you think why is this story mentioned in such detail here and in Surah Ali Imran as well? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, explaining us, is telling us about Jesus, peace be upon him, his mother, Zakaria alayhi salam, Yahya alayhi salam. Okay, the story in such detail. Why? This is a message uh, for us that we should speak to the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. Okay? So if you don't understand the Quran, if, uh, you will not realize the message of the Quran. Right? Along with the Arabic uh, recitation, if you try to read uh, the translation of the Quran to understand the Quran, it will be, you know, such a, such an amazing thing. It will bring a difference in your life. You will you can you, you cannot sit back doing nothing, right? You will go out and present the message of the Quran. You will realize that it is so important to speak to people, to give the message of the Quran, to, to give the message of peace uh, to people who don't know. So unfortunately, uh, we are hearing the Quran for so many years, you know, some people 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, but still they have not realized the message. The message of the Quran has not impacted their lives. So the best thing is to learn Arabic as a language. If not possible, read the translation of the Quran in the language you understand best and understand the Quran and implement the Quran and uh, present the message of the Quran, the message of peace to people around you. Assalamu alaikum.